Since I'm in a rights organization and they tell me I can't use Creative Commons license. So our position is that everybody should have the choice and that choice should include to use a Creative Commons license if an artist or whoever wishes to do so. And it's a bit strange that there's these monopoly organizations which, which, which go there and tell other people not to do something. In my eyes, MySpace is a commercial entity and should probably should pay. In the case of YouTube, again, if it's a if it's a company which sells advertisement against eyeballs, then that's commercial use in that sense, and they they should pay. With the internet, it's changed kind of like in the way because in a way everything we do is public these days. You know, like I I think for me always like the MySpace thing, the people putting a song on their MySpace page is basically the equivalent of me selecting a CD if I invited friends over where I wanted to make sure that like music I was kind of like considering hip and happening at the point where my my childhood friends would come to my apartment. What is commercial, what is not commercial? Is it the use, the user, the 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 the, the work, the context? This non-commercial is some kind of like a gut feeling thing in the end where people say like okay I don't want people to make buckets full of money and run away and I don't get anything. The collecting societies tell their members they can't use CC and we have to do something against that because like it's in our interest to to have CC as a viable option for musicians be they members of collecting societies or not because that's in the end is everybody else's everybody's choice on their own. Uh, we said like, okay, there's basically two options. Like either we have we have this exclusivity problem, so we need some kind of opt-out thing, and we don't want it necessarily for people to be like to leave a collecting society entirely it's for the purpose of this additional agreement between you, the artist, and me, the collecting society. Um, we shall consider this as commercial use and this as non-commercial. I think there's some system in place which, which, which you can indicate what type of music you play. It's not about commercial or commercial, but if you play lots of classical music, which is basically out of author's rights, then you pay less than when you play lots of like, like, like pop music, because it tends to be within, within copyright. You touch Buma Stammer's repertoire, you have to pay. Like online non-commercial sites which don't have advertising on it, like my private blog, your blog, whatever. You could touch these music and not play for it. We want to promote creativity among the youth in the area, and like we invite bands over and like help them a little bit. And there's like, it's run by some kind of charity organization. It's obviously not a commercial undertaking in my 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 sense of view. In a Dumas perspective, you could summarize it in a way, like to a certain extent, like whoever has paid us in the past is considered to be commercial and must pay hands for it. Purely economic perspective doesn't make sense for 95% of their members. Artists still need rights organizations. Yeah. I think it's very, is a very legitimate question.